Be prepared for intense scenes of emotional distress, very aggressive confrontations and highly offensive language right from the very start and all constantly throughout. Adult and sexual themes. Previously, tensions escalated. I don't want to be here anymore. Stay away from me. I don't like anybody. Mind your own business for one minute. Everyone's arguing all the time. And Jonathan was on the edge. I'm ready to go. He's gone. Okay. Hundred percent. Tonight, tragic news. The stardust is gone. But confusion leads to meltdown. David's dead. <laughs> what the fuck? They told me that David is dead. David. Yes. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Where's David? Where's David? He's, He's fine. fine. He's fine. Why the fuck does he hear that? What, what did I do? We told her that David was dead with cancer. David? My ex-husband. Why the fuck would she do that to me? You've got the name wrong. wrong. David. You can't be freaking out like that. If all y'all don't want to deal with me, then Darling, don't. Please, calm down. Get the fuck out of my face. She has to go. This is a comedy of errors. I hate this. People don't want to be around you. I'm not apologizing to that old bitch. And Jonathan reaches breaking point. I feel like it's time for me to go. Buddy, just stay one more day. I'm going to miss you guys. <laughs> Seven, eleven thirty-three a.m. A new day in the celebrity Big Brother house. In an off-camera conversation with her agent, Angie was told by him about David Bowie's death. She's decided to remain in the house and is now talking to Big Brother in the diary room. How are you feeling? I'm fine. I think I'll be better if I can cry, but I can't cry at the moment. I haven't seen him for so many years. Uh, you know, you, I can't make a big, um, big drama out of it. I just feel like an era has ended with his passing. I, I'm so very sad. I felt like that when my mom passed. I, she was so wonderful and so I was so glad she wasn't in pain and he had cancer too, so now I'm crying. <laughs> take your time, Angie. There's absolutely no rush for you to go back into the house. Just take the time you need. At least I'm safe here. I don't want to have to talk to any of the press. Angie, Big Brother doesn't want you to have to go back into the house by yourself, so Big Brother will now call David and John for you so that you can take a moment with them in the diary and take as long as you need. And then when you're ready, you can re-enter the house together. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Hi. Hi. Hey, Bibbo. Are you okay? What's wrong? David's died. Sorry? What? Shh, shh, shh. David's died. Last night. I sit down, sit down, sit I, down, sit down, sit if down. If you guys would be so it's kind far, yes. as to just give me yet again your Come moral on. support. Of course. Yeah, uh, uh, Angie, without anything. Without of course, without a doubt. Anything you need. Anything I, you need. Anything you need. Uh, anything thank you, need. you so much. I, I, I really uh, didn't know what to say or do. Well, what, there's nothing to say or do. Yeah. How did he die? From cancer. No. Anyway, the stardust is gone, and he's... We're right here. It's all good. Thank you so much. What, I'm what, so sorry. What do you want... What, do, do, you, do you want to keep this a private matter today? What do you want... Well, we I won't say, no, say something to anybody. We won't say anything. I don't, we won't say anything you, to anybody. If we don't say anything to anybody, maybe or, we should do that. Then we wouldn't have to hear all the stupidity. I, I'm talking okay, so, about so, specific people. Not, not. It's it's not going to anybody. Not one of us will uh, say anything. Oh, sweet. 
Um, well, not one of us will say anything. Going to keep it private for now. Is uh, that okay? Uh, oh Absolutely. my God! It's that, your decision. Just no. try to. I feel better because I you. cried. Yeah, well, it's good to good. cry. It's great yeah. to cry. It's good to cry. And I feel you must. And you I must cry. cry. But I think I think don't make any decisions about anything okay. right now. I think sit on it right now. Okay. And yeah. see how you. We'll see how the day goes on. Thank you so much. Oh for my God! I really Come on, come on, come on, kid. And Jake, big brother just wants to confirm you're happy to go back into the house. Yes, I'm okay, and thank you. Okay, if you've had all the time you need, you're free to enter the house whenever you want. Thank you very okay, much. Okay, so mum's the word, and we'll we need, we'll look at this again we'll later. Yeah? Bye, bye, guys. Bye, bye, big brother. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Come on, kid, this way. Yeah, I'm just oh, okay. seeing if I had. Okay, so. <laughs> so you're just not feeling well. Okay? Yeah. Come on. You want a cigarette? No, thank you. Okay. I. Uh... Oh, it's all clean. I don't know yeah. how to act. Look how. <laughs> what the? I was about to head for the sink. Do you want anything, Ange? I'll take another cup hey, of tea, baby. They got us honey. There if you need me, kid. Thank you. One twenty-three p.m. David is feeling unwell and has been advised by Big Brother to rest. Angie and Tiffany are in the kitchen. Nancy, I like your hair. Thank you, sweetie. The black ribbons. Are you okay? I, I'm fine, honey. Okay. And you're looking at me and you are looking deep. Yeah. You got it? Yeah. You know I wouldn't be in this condition if it was just a cold. Let's okay? go over here. Tiffy, you gotta do me a favor. Anything. You can't say a word. Nothing. David's dead. No, he's not. <laughs> you can't. You can't. You can't do that. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Are you serious? Sit down. Oh Sit my down. God. Sit down. Sit down. Oh stop gosh. it. Stop it. They're all gonna know. You gotta stop. Okay, I know you just know. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Come on, come on, come on. No, no, you were playing. I know you're joking. I would never joke. Oh my gosh. Wait, wait, oh gosh. Okay, this is just a joke. It's gotta be. Are you crazy? Would I do something like that to you? <laughs> Are you serious? Okay, 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 okay. What happened? What happened? It just happened now. Wow, she's cancer. And you gotta please stay calm, please. Oh my gosh. Oh my and gosh. I, this is not what I planned to oh do. Oh my gosh. I, I was not oh gonna say gosh. anything, but. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh God. We, we gotta get everybody together. You can't, please, okay. I can't I, I, do I'm that. not gonna be able to not. No, I can't do that, honey. I, I can't do that right oh now. Oh my Give gosh, oh my gosh, I feel sick. <laughs> Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I need a drink. I need a drink. Oh, God. I this is not going well. I need a drink. Uh -oh. Big brother, I'm in trouble. Everybody, come, come. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't keep this a secret. Oh, great. I can't keep it a secret. She told me not to tell anybody. What's all? What's up for now? Some advice. Oh, great. Tiffany, <laughs> come sit down. Tiffany, come. She told me something, and I have to say it. I can't, I can't, I, I'm not able to not say anything. Sit down. No, go in the diary room. That's what it says. Sit down. I thought, I hope she's just joking, but she says she's not. That's what you're screaming. Yes. What, 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 what? Sit down, babe. Sit down. Sit down. She told me that David is dead. David? Yes. David? David? Yes. She said he just died, and I can't fucking hold this in by myself. No. Oh, you gotta help me. I gotta deal with this now. I fucked it up. Oh, Jesus. Where's David? Where's David? Where's David? Oh, Where's David? She's, he's fine. He's, he's fine. fine. He's, he's fine. fine. He's fine. What the fuck did she hear that? The she told me that David died. Angie. Angie's, Angie's just said that David just died. What the fuck was she doing? Sit that? down. Come and see him. Come David, and see him. she just told me what that you were fuck? dead. What? What the fuck? That is so fucking sick. He's here, look. Chill, chill. No, 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 chill. Chill, That's chill, 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 chill. Tiffany. Why Tiffany. the fuck would she do Tiffany. that to me? Tiffany. 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 What? Don't, 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 don't stay away. Come here, sit right. with me. Come sit come with me. Down. Why come would she? That shit is not Come on, sit down. down. Come on, babe. Keep them apart. What did apart. I do? You told her that David was dead with cancer. Yes, he is. He's in there, asleep. Oh, David. My ex-husband. What does okay. she think? Okay, let me calm it down. Let me calm the situation what down. What is the matter with her? 
God, big brother, it's a mess. It's a mess. Take a moment, Angie. Why the fuck would she get my fucking head like that in a fucking tail spin? She said okay. David died and he died of cancer. Right. She said, don't say anything. But listen, that shit is not she funny. Listen, no, Tiff, no, 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 Tiff, no, 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 no. Tiff, she means her ex-husband, David. Fucking She up. did not say that. She said David Guest. I said, David Gash, she said, yes. But then uh, David Bowie ain't dead either. No, what David the fuck? Why would she do that? Cancer? She said, David, David oh, Gash. Yes. And I said, when did this happen? She said, just Tiff. now, but don't tell anybody. Tiff, just just fucked up. Right. Where is she? I forgot that she screams, and she just started screaming, and she thought it was David Guest, and then she thought it was a joke, and I said, no, would I joke about something like that? And she didn't know who I was talking about. I'm so, I don't know what to do. I was like freaking out because I thought he died in the diary room. Oh, That's fucking God. sick, mate. Come That's on. sick. Come on. And where is she now? She's in the diary room. Oh, she needs to be taken oh, out of there. Call me, guy. I she thought he died. That's fucking sick. Oh. Speaking ill of other people like that is sick. Oh, my God. She, to my surely to God she wouldn't have said she would Oh, my gosh. Why the fuck would she do that to me? Come on. She started giving me this look like I was a an idiot because I looked, I had all my eyes, you know, look like I've been crying. And I thought that she thought it was because I was sick and that I was so weak and stupid that I was crying because I was sick. It was pride, that's what it was. My pride made me not handle it correctly. And yet again, it developed into another drama she told Tiff it was David Guest has died of cancer in a diary or something. Has died. David Guest has died. But he's not. <laughs> he's in his bed. And everyone. Tiff has freaked out. She told Tiff that David Guest was dead. Tiff's out there freaking, but it's not. We've gone in and checked David, make sure he was in his bed. It's just gone off out there. Off. I'm not well with crazy oh my people. God, I can't believe I'm not this well shit. with crazy people. I don't have that in my life. Listen, guys, yeah, what's the misunderstanding? Her husband is not dead. No, that's shit. Just, listen, can I just ask for everyone just to calm down for one second? Yes. Tiff, it's Tiff, not Tiff. my Tiffany. Just talk to just Tiff. talk to Johnny straight. It's up. not my place to tell you this. It's really not my place to say Liar. any of this right now. Liar. I'm freaking out. There's nothing to freak out about. All Angie right. has had some news. It's not, not my, place. it's not right, my place to tell you this. Right, it's not. Yeah, yeah, don't. She, she's yeah, misunderstood yeah, the name. The name, that's the last name. That's all I'm going to say. Right. She said that he dropped dead of cancer. Tiffany, yes, that is true. But you've got the name wrong. Wrong David. It's the wrong David. It's the wrong David, honey. She... Uh, <laughs> Coming up, the house turns on Tiffany. What happens now is how we move forward from it. It's not about who said what and she said this. No, we know what's happening. No, but how do we move we know, on? She has to go. And Jonathan's had enough. I just don't know what's going to happen, and I just I feel like it's time for me to go. Be prepared for intense scenes of emotional distress, very aggressive confrontations, and highly offensive language constantly throughout. Two or six p.m. It's been 41 minutes since Tiffany thought Angie told her that David Guest was dead. Listen, I'm not. I, listen, I'm upset. I'm upset. I'm upset. Scotty, I'm not here to start no shit. I'm not here know. to start wars. I'm you trying just, to figure it's, it's, out what I'm mis, doing you here. You misheard it and you, and you went off it. That's basically it. And like, like as most people do, but maybe you just. And the thing is, and I don't give a shit if y'all don't believe me or none of y'all want to fuck with me no more. I, I don't. I'm I, and my contract, it says just, no, con it says, right, listen, okay, listen, hear down. me out, hear me out for one calm second. Down. In the contract, it says that you get no outside information. So how the fuck am I going right, to think she picked okay. up the newspaper and read that David Bowie died? Okay, then, all right, because okay. it said that you're not going to have any contact. Right. So you made a mistake. Just, just, just chill it. out, all right? Just please calm down. Honestly, everyone makes right. mistakes. Calm down. I didn't please. make no fucking mistake. Please, calm down. 
It's just that, baby, when you came out here... And you if said, you don't want to speak to me again, Tiff, then don't. No, I'm, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not I didn't make no anyway. fucking mistake. I don't even know why they have me here. And if all y'all don't want to deal with me, then darling, don't. Darling. Then don't. No, I'm the one that did something darling, wrong. Please. I knew this shit was going to get like this in this house anyway. But you anyway. didn't say David. You oh said my God. David guessed Okay, baby. you know what, Darren? Get the fuck out of my face. <sighs> don't down, get in my face anymore. Don't talk to me. I'm not in your face. I'm just trying to... I'm asking, I'm just trying to, you know, sort it's the fine. situation it's fine. out, It's fine, it's fine. Somebody is grieving and has lost a family member. But that, Matt, that... That's the seriousness that, of it. But, but you, can't be, you be. can't be freaking out like that. Yeah, but this circle shouldn't be happening. Someone's lost someone. That's what I'm saying. But That's you can't be acting it's like that. It's all about that. you, love. Angie has been in the diary room for 38 minutes. <sighs> I can't believe this. This is a comedy of errors. Okay, I have to go. Thank you. Angie, wait here. Are you all right? Angie, come here. Yeah. What's happening? She thought you were dead. Started screaming and on lying on the no, floor. No, listen. Uh uh. You ain't oh, lying on me. Listen. Stop, stop, stop. I'm all right. I'm no, not going to hit her. Steps in both of listen, us. she's not going to sit up here and lie on me like that. Babe, she just lost her brother. Just Wait, she yeah. just lost a, 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 a child's dad. <sighs> I can't take the yelling. I can't take any more yelling. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, she Come on, baby. And, and she, you know what she said to me? She said, are you joking? And I said, you think I would make a joke that somebody died? You've only just been told this today. Yeah. I'm so sorry, babe. When right. she came running out saying David Guest is dead, we've come running in right. because we've been worried about his... Uh, I, I kept saying I've been, been worried, too, about that, but that was not one. And I never said anything about David That's Guest. Why I came in it's on tape. I said David, David but I didn't okay. say and Bowie. You know we know what was said. We know what was... We have, there's no point going over this now. No point keep hashing over it. What happens now is how we move forward from here. It's not about who said what and she said this. No, we know what's happened. No, but how do we move we know, on? She has to go. Yes, yeah, she does have to if go. If she doesn't go, I'll she go home. She has to go. I don't, I don't so now we should, what we should I be concerning ourselves about it. is how that happens. Yeah, but I don't want She to... has to go. But the majority of people in here don't feel safe over here. Well, she then has to go. Then that's enough. Then we all have to make them know that that's right. Because if the majority of us don't feel safe. She has to go. But look at Christina with the, just the trauma of it all. No, but I don't want, you know, I don't want to be you in the same room with her. I don't want to sleep in the no. same room. And that's not about me, guys. I'm all cool. And no, but so you can't be having this stress. I know. She's not in here. Okay, let's Tiff, are you there? Yes, I'm in the restroom. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. oh, sweet. I hate this. Hey, girl. Y'all don't have to talk to me. I know y'all don't want to really talk to me. I know everybody in this house can't stand me. They're just tolerating me. If you didn't give me the immunity, I know everybody was going to send me home. That's what we wanted to talk to you about. People are completely either disgusted, freaked out, or scared. I don't give a sh I, I, don't I know care. you don't give a sh I don't care. What I am I supposed to do? Uh, see? See? Gang up. Gang up. Gang up eyes. Gang up eyes. A fuck. Uh-uh. 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 <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, We're just checking your account. Yeah, I just want to... It's for you what that I'm worried about. What the fuck? What do you mean? <laughs> okay. Well, really? Why are you... Why, okay, why are you looking at me like that? Because... Well, I'm not saying there's anything wrong. Are we just with checking you? that you're okay? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What the fuck? Okay, why are you looking down? Why are you staring at me like that? I'm, I'm looking at you like this, darling, because it's serious. 
Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh. People <laughs> don't want you here. People say they're gonna leave they're if gonna you leave don't. They're gonna leave if you stay. Hey, what? What? People don't want to be around you. They are. They feel threatened by you, and they don't want to be around you. Oh, they don't. No. That's too fucking bad because I'm not just gonna leave. Now you want to get rid of me too. I okay. don't want. I want you. I want oh, you to do gosh. what's right for you. So everybody out there don't want me here. Correct. Everyone in the front room wants you to go. Well, they're going to have to talk to Big Brother about it then. I should think that they are. Do you think you could apologise to Angie and... I'm not apologising to that old bitch. Absolutely fucking not. I want my shoes back. I'm sorry that you guys don't want me here, but I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving the house. It's... I hear that people are feeling okay. like... Okay, okay. You know what? Get away from me. No. Oh, you know what? <laughs> you know what? I can stand up here and have a fucking cigarette. This is Big Brother with Tiffany come to the diary room. No, you know what? Fuck yes, I will fucking come to the diary room. I will fucking come to the diary Who's room. Doing? She's fucking Good crack is that girl. She's fucking Fuck crack. you. This is Big Brother. Tiffany should come immediately I to the diary room. I am fucking coming. She's fucking loopy, that girl. Fuck this. This. You know what? Honestly, how am I? Bye. I told her that everybody wants her to go. See you later. Get my shit now. I'm ready to go. <sighs> Tiffany. What? There's no need to shout at Big Brother. Sit there. I'm leaving. I'm fucking leaving time. now. This whole fucking house has a problem with me. Big Brother is going to give you a chance to calm down, and then Big Brother will talk to you. Okay? You've got all of our support, a hundred percent. And whatever you need or want, whatever we can do, if you want your space, then we'll give you your space. If you want us to, whatever you fucking want, we will give to you. To be honest, right now, I just want her gone. To get immunity from the fucking nomination of all the people in the fucking house. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, oh! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Now everybody's ganging up against me. For what? What the fuck did I do? I'm not hiding behind no shades. I have shades on because I like to wear them. I look you dead in the eye. I didn't do anything. I'm uncomfortable here now too. If these people don't think all of a sudden, oh, are you okay? I'm worried about your mental health and all this shit. Fuck all that. They never even wanted me here. And you know what? I'm glad. I'm glad that the truth comes out. But I bet you one thing, they're going to have to get me evicted because I'm not just going to walk off. I'm not a quitter. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Three fifteen PM. Yeah, maybe Stephanie and Jeremy yeah. are brushing their teeth. It's gonna go around circles. Like oh, I said, yeah, yeah if you're going on about it again, it's done. It's not gonna change. Mom. Get on with it, like. Mm. I'm not gonna always say anyone in the house, like. Mom, I was gonna. I said. If I had to, mm. obviously I had to stay with the group, but. Mm. Tiffany has been in the diary room for one hour and four minutes. I don't want to be around anybody right now. Now people are saying that um. They don't want to be here if I'm here. Like, it just confuses me. I don't know where that is coming from. I didn't do anything. So, Tiffany, are you feeling like going back into the house now? Oh, yeah. You're now free to return to the house. Thank you. Really, so, um... And arguing, but it wasn't like that. So right. something, right. and it was um, kind of daily occurrences, you know, with him. Money and uh, she was quite funny with him, with uh, Katie Hopkins. So. Tiffany, I don't know, I haven't understood anything about this, but it's, uh, it's, uh, what is the situation? You want to talk? I, um, 
it seems so, so everything's so unreal. 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 Okay. I'm, I'm so sorry. What everybody's now it is, and then I, I, Tiffany, I don't know anything about you. I, I don't know anything. I don't know what I, I don't, but what is now all this? So you misunderstood, misunderstood what Angie was saying. So she was talking about David Guest. David, oh, <laughs> See, David Bowie. It's that easy to make the slip because we don't get the papers in here. Today's events are taking their toll on Jonathan. My comedy and fun of it is over now. Yeah. I have nothing to laugh about. I have nothing left to say. I know everything about everybody practically. Yeah. And like, I don't get to that part of it. What do we do? Well, we either decide that we're going to go. Or we're not. Or we're just going to live in this mess. I'm going to go I don't pack. think it's healthy to live in this mess. Want to come with me? I'm going for a cigarette. And I'm going to put Steph's clothes back in the room. Take a seat, my darling. <sighs> I love you. I love you. Do you? Yeah. Tell me. Oh, John. <laughs> I know that you want to go. Yeah. And? I love you, and I know that it's time for you to go. Do you think it is? Yeah. You do? Mm. For real? Mm. It's going to just, this is when it, that happens, right? I promise we're going to do all the things we're going to do. So you don't know me. I'm promise. like the best like that. We're going to have sleepovers. Yes. I'm the best like that. I'll be in Essex eating. I'm dragging your ass you right promise to London. You're going to start my flat. And every time I come to London, you'll come pick me up. We'll go eat. You know what I mean? Because it's pink. And it's got pictures of Marilyn Monroe everywhere. Oh, God, no. You know what I feel about With pink. With bubble gum and glitter. No, God. I hate pink bubble gum and glitter. I like everything dark. I've got leopard print and pink chairs. No, stop. I've got silver crushed velvet furniture. Oh, I'm so relaxed because I am going. It's good enough. Five nineteen p.m. Darren, Jeremy, and David are talking about Jonathan. I don't know I'm so upset. Oh, I know, mate. And you know what? At the beginning, the first couple of days, uh, he was the person I'd sort of got into conversation least with. But now I really like him. And, uh, you know, I'd, I'd hate to see him go. Really. He's the only guy I've ever let call me dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's lovely, isn't he? Jonathan has come to the diary room to talk to Big Brother. I just think that my time here is kind of expired. Um, it's the house is not fun anymore. Um, I'm not really into fighting. Um, Tiffany's insane, and uh, it's just going to be a horrible situation here. And I just, you know, don't want to be a part of that kind of situation. Um, it's it's getting down and dirty. Uh, everybody is getting terrible now. It's a bad vibe in the house, so I really have to get out at this point. I've already had kind of like a situation with Angie and Nancy that I felt so bad about putting her in the in, in you know incarceration yesterday. It felt like my mom was laying in there. Jonathan Big Brother doesn't want you to make any rash decisions about the house, obviously after quite an emotional day. So how are you currently feeling now? You know, I'm, I'm feeling very emotional because I'm sad that I have, I'm going to go and say goodbye to everybody. Um, I don't want to get to that point where I know with Tiffany and Angie and all the fighting, the house is just in complete disarray. And I think that, you know, I'm just a happier person and I don't want to, I don't want to be there and get anxious and claustrophobic and, and kind of freak out about it. I just don't know what's going to happen and I just, I feel like it's time for me to go. Jonathan, it sounds to Big Brother like you've definitely made your decision. So Big Brother would suggest that go back to the house, see your fellow housemates and say your goodbyes. Thank you. Coming up, David and Jeremy share a sweet moment. Oh, God, I've got to taste that cream. And Jonathan jogs on. Thank you, Jonathan, and goodbye. Thank you, and goodbye. Five twenty nine PM. Jonathan is saying his goodbyes. 
on another the side. side. Can't you just stay one more day? Get it together. Now you have oh another God. bed. You can fart. Yeah, yeah. You can snore. No one's going to bother you. can wear pink all day tomorrow <laughs> in remembrance of me. No, it's not funny, Jonathan. I didn't think you was really going to go. Stop it. No, I can't stop it. Stop it. Get it together. I'm going to see you when you guys get out. Come on. Tiffany is alone in the bedroom. Just put him in I'm going to miss you guys. I'm miss you. Bye. 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 Love you, kid. Bye, Bye. Bye. I'll be watching. Bye. Bye. Hello, Jonathan. Hello. How are you feeling now? Sad. And I think it'll definitely be different tonight. Um, but yeah, they're, I think they're very upset. Gemma took it the hardest. You know, it's like when you meet, you meet a good friend and you meet somebody that you get along with like that um, and you just click. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's definitely uh, bittersweet because uh, that, that was very hard. Very. Thank you, Jonathan, and goodbye. Thank you, and goodbye. <laughs> Five fifty-one p.m. Gemma is talking to Big Brother about Jonathan. I don't know what life in the house is going to be like without him. Um, something's died inside of me right now, but there is so many amazing people here, and it's time for me to get out of my comfort zone and get to spend time with other people in the house and. No one will ever replace my Jonathan, but, you know, there's banter that I can have with other people in the house. And um, tomorrow's a new day. I'll get my bronzer and lipstick on and everything will be okay-ish. You know, I'm sure everyone is going to miss him, but no one as much as me because I loved him the most. Angie and Darren are in the snug. Today shouldn't be about anyone else but you. Well, about it. actually mourning someone who was, for many people, a, an important part I mean, of their lives. I'll tell lives. you what, would you know what's strange about in, being in this bubble is you think about how, what the outside world has been, the music industry, what, the, the, how, what a weekend it's been, because yeah. the world will be grieving. You know, you've got I don't your know own, what to do now. You've got your own personal grief going on in here, which is, is fucking hard for you. Christopher's got an idea to share with Tiffany. I think what we should all do is we should all get together, get it sorted, get it, the, the air cleared, everyone will feel a lot better, and then we'll sit down and we'll have dinner together, and it'll be fine. I'm down for that. Yeah? I, I, Shall I, I organise it for... Oh, when would you? you? When you ready, what should we say? 20 minutes then, right in the living room, and we'll get it sorted then, yeah? Then okay. We can, yeah, okay. come here then, look. Come here, give us a hug. All right. Thank you. All right. Okay. I'll get it sorted in a minute. <sighs> Guys, don't shoot the messenger, but Angie, just here a second. In 15, in 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes, if you can all gather in here, I know how you're feeling, but we're all, we're all here. I'm gonna, we'll sit beside you, but um, Tiffany wants to address everybody. I, I I've, got, I've got no interest in anything she has to say. I, I understand, but she just she feels like that she feels... We, Why we can, are you speaking for her? She yeah. didn't come out and say, can I talk to you? No, I said I'll sort of for her, she said, because she wants to speak so to her. So once again, eyes. somebody else has been doing her yeah. shit, like doing her dishes and doing her food and doing yeah. her. She wants to speak to people, she can come out and sort it out herself. <laughs> so you, you're not her bitch. She only wants to talk to us because she's starving. Yeah, because she's the hungry. The food's going to get cooked and she wants a plate of chicken. Well, I'm sorry, dude. I'm not interested. Uh, really, it's not about addressing it, it's about apologising to Anne. Yeah, it's not about She doesn't need to talk to us. It's apologising to She needs to talk to, to somebody Anne. else. It's nothing to do with me. I'm not interested. All right, I'll pass the message on then. She's had enough yeah. air time today. Yeah. John. Okay. 
How, c no. How can I go back and I'm just a bit scared to go back and say that to her, do you know what I mean? Just no, go back and say she, everyone, just there. to go back and say no, nobody wants to talk about it. I'll tell her if you want. Do you want me to go? Um, I don't mind. I'm not leaving. Hey, I'm, not, I'm not coming to ask you to leave. Um, Chris came and said that um, you wanted to speak to everybody. He thought it was a good idea. I didn't suggest it. Oh, okay. Well, he said he... Because the, the way he suggested it... I know people it, don't want to speak to me, the, and I don't want to push him. I'm yeah. sure, yeah, yeah. He didn't feel comfortable back in coming over here to tell you what people had said, so he asked me to come and tell you. Nobody wants to hear it right now, so that, I'm just passing that on. Well, there. I didn't... I didn't I I'm did, sure you didn't. Yeah. I'm sure you didn't. I'm and sure can you, you pass that on? Because I don't, I will I don't pass, want people... I will pass that on. Thank you, Johnny. Nine twenty p.m. In yesterday's task, David won a date with Jeremy. I'm so nervous, David. What happened between us? Tonight is date night, and Jeremy has decided to dress up as Liza Minnelli. Oh. 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 Thanks, big brother. Come on in, David. Oh. This is so romantic. This is for you, Lasagna. Thank you, David. You're so good. Uh, 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 <laughs> okay. Sit down, David, and tell I me brought you, I'll you I brought you a flower. Thank you. You're... Sit down, man. I cracked that open. Okay. Oh, uh, please put your dress <laughs> down. Will you pour Over. it? Some... I've told you about that. Do you mind pouring me a glass of champagne, David? I would love to pour you a glass of champagne. Thank you. Megan and Scotty T are eating love hearts. It's lovely, David. All right, I've got it's a one. Mouthful. It's not like it's you gonna, you're not going to pour weight on. You can't say it that loud, Oh, well. But no, not right. for now. Go on. Just do okay. it because I've got one you're a cheap Go on, show me yours first. Oh, carrot, carrot. Yeah, carrot. I think it's oh, carrot. That's what um, Megan said. Yeah, we'll think it's a carrot. I said banana, carrot, yeah. whatever. Yeah, I said banana, carrot. I'm going to tell that one. Mine's for a night out. Sweating. <laughs> Just that. I think I've got anyone. I didn't leave anyone else. Hey. Did I? Yeah. I tried to find it, but I couldn't find a good one. Well. Too hot, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Little bag. Who hasn't been in the uh, bar room yet? Do you want some cheese? I'd love to have some New York cheese. It's just there. Oh, put, it's pull just down, there. Pull down your dress. David, don't let me eat on my own. I won't, darling. Ugh, God. Um, try that. How is it? Do you like it? It's tasty. It's tasty. Put the cream away, darling. Oh, God, I've got to taste that cream. <laughs> Ugh, shit. <laughs> you just fucked up my pants. Eleven twenty-three p.m. Jeremy is making Darren's dear. You're a bit of a, a chameleon, the fact that you can adapt to certain situations, right? You can have that bit of banter, you can laugh at yourself, and you can just live in the moment, man. That's my type of person. Man. Do you know what I mean? And if you, you're one of them, like, do you know what I mean? Thanks, mate. I'm not saying that now, like. Listen, you're you fucking. Know say you're it. a fucking. Yeah. Awesome fucking geezer, mate. I, I like you very, very much. <laughs> David is giving Tiffany some advice about Angie. You gotta just talk to people, explain what it. And, and, and apologize if you will. And, and just tell her, you know what, I didn't listen to you, I, I didn't hear what you said, and, and, and let it go. Okay. It's Life is too short. It is, you're right. You know what? Let Angie go through yeah, a grieving point, process, please. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry about what happened earlier. <laughs> Angie, I'm very sorry about what happened earlier. I just wanted to say that. No, you don't have to get up. I want to. I'm just really sorry about it. I know what I did. I 
You should didn't do said, anything wrong. I, I should have said my ex-husband. That just but was I really was really so confused. Upset. I know. It's not your fault. I just... Baby, I, I was... It was stupid of me no, to not, no, not say it fault. correctly. I just wanted but to say that. Okay. It's okay, okay, sweetie. It's okay. Angie, I'm very sorry for your loss. I really I am. Baby, don't be sad. So it's cool. I forgot about this. Coming up, Darren's dearest. There was a moment of today, it might have been a split second or it might have been 30 seconds, when I thought David Guest had died. And Gemma tells it straight. Your bollocks ain't gonna wash with anyone in the nicest possible way, you know what I mean? Eleven fifty six PM Darren is in the diary room talking to Big Brother. The craziness of the incident that happened today with confusion over the fact that um Tiffany came out and told us that David Guest had died. I promise you on my children's lives when I ran in and saw the shape and the covers over, when I pulled because I thought, what is it? It literally just happened. So I, when I pulled the, the cover back over his head, I, you know, I, 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 there was a moment of today, it might have been a split second or it might have been 30 seconds, when I thought David Guest had died. Gemma's talking to Tiffany. I, I, I've made up for my sins tonight. <sighs> Please try and stay calm for the rest of your stay, Tiff. Please. And I mean that nicely. Because you're going to do yourself up like a kipper. You mean them trying to get rid of me? Well, you're just going to do yourself right up. And your bollocks ain't going to wash with anyone in the nicest possible way, you know what I mean? Just be nice, Tiff. I try so hard. You're not on your reality show now, dear. I try so hard. And try, None of that is and, an and act. She put, told me that help, David died. Try and help out. Yeah, forget that now. It's moved on from that. Try and help out around the house a little bit more. Honestly. What do you mean? Make people a tea or a coffee. Offer to help in the kitchen. This is a team effort. I'm not that good with making that kind of stuff. Well, learn, darling. Learn. And these are the little things. Do you know what I mean? We ain't the royal family. You've got to come down to earth a bit sometimes. I'm saying this from the art. I'm saying this because it ain't been nice for anyone today, what's going on here. It's not made anyone feel comfortable. You, you could, you know, we're team players. The feedback from today is you're not pulling your weight around the house. Who said that? In general, in general. I don't know how to make this right. I know a lot of people just, you know, want to avoid me, but if I I'm can help it... I'm your card and telling you how to make it right. Make tea and coffee? Babe, tea and coffee is everything. It is? It means a lot to people. It does? Yeah, it's, it's like a hearty gesture. Can I make you a tea? It's like saying, can I give you a grand? OK. Why don't you walk in there now and say, Christina, can I help you dry up? She's going to say no, dear. No, no, she won't. Just try it. Are you coming with me so I'll you can witness you. it? And then, and then, if it's a no, say, can I make anyone a tea and coffee before bedtime? OK. It's gestures, babe. OK. It's gestures. I'm, I'm just tipping you off. You, you old person, you <coughs> Christina, can I help you dry yeah, up? Please, no, we're all good. We're all good. We're finishing up. Can literally. I make anybody a tea or coffee? No, no, no. no well, thank you. We're, like, literally two minutes away from finishing up. We're not letting you in, babe. Right, Johnny. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. It's a gesture and you've done it. And you're going to keep doing it. Well done. You're going to keep doing it. You're going to keep doing it. This, you'll get more thought of. But I told you they don't, they don't want me Oh, to babe, there's no need for tears. No, yes, there is. Fuck this. They don't fucking want me here. Tomorrow's another day. <laughs> 2.17 a.m. 
All the housemates are in the bedroom. Big brother, can we have the light off, please? Oh, God's sake. You're not on a reality TV show now, Tiff. Classic. Ever thought your family's the most dysfunctional? Join the club. New next on Channel 5. Hugh Dennis narrates the secret life of the family. Cameras capturing the traits and quirks of six fabulous households in just a moment. And Hugh's doing my job too, so I'm going to grab a couple.